Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Badrindin and in this video we'll learn how to use the graph widget to display the ADC converted values. In the first part of this video, we learned how to set up the graph widget in GFX Designer. In this second part, we'll see how to set up the ADC and pass the converted values to the graph widget. Here I have my GFX files. I'll go up by one level here and double click on STM32H7B IOC file. I get my STM32CubeMX project open here. I go to pinout and configuration and here I'll select one of the ADC channels are connected uh, to Arduino connector. So I will check the schematic of the board. Here I have PA4 connected to con Arduino connector, connector 20, pin 1, and this is ADC1 channel 18. So PA4 is used or can be used as ADC1 channel 18. I go back to STM32QMX and I enable channel 18 single ended. And they can see here PA4 is set up as ADC channel 18. Next, I will set up few parameters of the ADC. Parameter settings. I'll keep the ADC in 16-bit resolution. I will use external trigger conversion. I will use timer 1, capture compare 1 event. And then I'll keep the default edge, which is the rising edge. So what I want to do is whenever a timer one, channel one event happens, ADC starts the conversion. So I'll set up the timer, timer one, channel one, as a PWM, generation channel one. And then I will set up the scaler or prescaler to 140 minus 1 to show that the prescaler value of 131 actually means the clock is divided by 140. So this means the counter will increment every one microsecond. So here we, sh we see that the timer APB1 and APB2 timers are clocked by 140 megahertz. 140 megahertz divided by 140 gives us 1 megahertz. Next, I will set the period to 16,000 minus 1. This means the counter will overflow every 16,000 ticks or every 16 millisecond. Next, I will set the pulse value to 16,000 divided by 2 to get a duty cycle or PWM duty cycle of 50%. So here what I did is I generated a PWM signal with a period of 16 millisecond and a duty cycle of 50%. I go back to ADC here and enable the NVIC settings. So here, every 16 milliseconds, a timer compare event triggers an ADC conversion. Once the conversion is done, an ADC interrupt is kicked off. I'll set the project and generate code. I'll click on open project. STM32Cube ID asks me to select a directory for the workspace. I'll just select a path for it. And here I have my STM32Cube ID project. I close the information center. I expand my project here and then application and then user. And I go to or select main.c. So 
I'll start by the uh, timer configuration. So here we have timer one in it. And here we have the prescaler, we have the period, and we have the duty cycle or the pulse value. And here we want to add the API to start the, the, the timer counter. So here we'll use the HAL API, HAL timer PWM start, channel one. So this will start the timer counter. Then we will go to the ADC init function. So here we have timer one, channel one, used as external trigger conversion for the ADC. And here we have the rising edge selected for the conversion. So here we have channel 18, sample time 1.5. And so here in the user code, uh, section, I will start the ADC. For the, so the API is HAL ADC start IT. So we'll use the interrupt, the interrupt model to, to start the ADC conversion. So whenever the ADC finishes the, uh, the conversion, an ADC interrupt will happen. I have here the ADC inter, uh, interrupt enabled. And what I still need to do is to to enable the uh, the timer or the ADC callback. And for the callback is the, the callback is HAL ADC conversion complete callback. And here we use a variable to retrieve or read the ADC converted value. So we still need to enable or define this variable. We'll go up here in the private variable definition. I will set it as volatile and a 16-bit variable. Next, I will send this ADC converted data to the uh, graph widget. I will start by expanding GUI folder here and then model.cpp. Here the model has the tick method uh, that gets called every 16 millisecond. I will call model listener update graph ADC converted value time is 3300. This is the max value given uh, that ADC com can convert and divided by the 60, 65, 535, this is the 16-bit value for 3.3 volt, or 3300 volt. Uh, next, I will define the, uh, the ADC converted value as extern. Here, I'll use it as extern, and I still need to include 8 STM32 H7 HAL dot H file. Okay, next I will define this method in the model listener. I'll click on the model listener and create a new virtual void function with update graph. I need to include the types. Then we go to the presenter, screen on presenter.cpp, we create a new method update graph. And this method calls the view update graph. We define this method in the dot hpp file. Void update graph. Then we go to screen one view dot cpp. We create a new method, update graph, and this update graph method calls dynamic graph one add data point, and this is the value we we uh, we get from the ADC. 
So this is the result of ADC converted value times 3300 divided by 65, 535. We want to create or define the method in the header file void and now I'm ready to build I click on build button the build finished successfully I'm, now I'm ready to download the application I click on debug button here remember my decision and switch download verified successfully I'll proceed to code execution here I have my STM32H7B discovery board I have my waveform generator connected to the Arduino connector and here I have my sine wave displayed on the graph widget I'll change the waveform to square and here I have the waveform changed Thank you for joining me in this video and we hope that you enjoyed learning how to use the graph widget to display the ADC converted values.